It is 12 degrees early morning on this December day. Gorgeous Saturday. I'm going to pick up a liner, a drop-in liner for my 2022 Ram 1500. And I know there's pros and cons to the liner versus the spray-in and I'm going with the liner. I'm a light duty kind of guy with this truck. I'm not doing heavy duty stuff. The liner's a great price point. And I'm aware that I live in a place where there's salt and snow and there can get rust and water gathering and salt stuck underneath the thing and dirt, you can scratch the bed. I plan on taking it out every spring, cleaning everything underneath. And even in the fall, take that liner out, wash, clean everything and inspect everything and just maintain it, you know? My dad's always had liners and they've always worked great and they never destroyed any of his truck beds. But then also having a cover over the top to keep out water, to keep out dirt and filth, that's gonna help tremendously. So I'm gonna pick it up, bring it home and install this thing and then get everything else put in and together and we should be ready for the harsh coming winter. Lord, help me, Jesus. Take it from me, darling. I'm like right on top of it. Here it is. All right, I loosely tossed the liner in the back. I got the tailgate cover right here in the back of the truck and the cab and I'm heading home and we'll get this thing installed. Sweet! So this is a rugged liner. That is the brand, made in USA. I got this from a local vendor in New Hampshire and we're gonna put it in the 2022 Ram 1500 pickup truck with a five foot seven inch bed. Just washing out the dust and the dirt. So the new cover's a little dusty. Just gonna wipe it down with a micro cloth. Man, you can tell this thing's been dragged a lot. Big scratch marks along the bottom. Oh yeah, that's how they transport them. The corners are a little beat up, but not as bad as the first one I got from Amazon. I had to return that one. It was crushed so bad there was a hole in the corner. See right here, plastic's not real thick right here. And this gets dented really easy. Man, definitely got scratched up. It'll be fine. Bring it over to the truck. Oh, yeah! All right, I cleaned that side. We got a little force. So there's no hardware other than two points here and here, already a hole, ready made for this bed liner. So pretty cool, the tailgate cover uses existing hardware. So I just gotta remove that, their Torx head, and then bolt it down. All right, hey, nice, there's a little rubber slash plastic seals on the bottom. Nice, that makes me feel good. I'm so excited about finally getting this bed protected. I've been so paranoid about it. Scratching it all up, it was just so exposed. All right, my logic may be stupid here, but I'm gonna put the sealant washer, assuming it's a, you know, it's probably not. <laughs> probably doesn't too much. It's not very spongy. It's just plastic. But we'll put it here and see if that makes a difference. The moment. All right, we're gonna start them all by hand, gently. Two, three, four, five, six, woo, seven. No cross threading, nice and clean. Wow, that's nice. Not a bad project. This is actually quite easy. And you can get a spray-in liner, right? 
but you got to pay for someone else to do it. Apparently, they got to strip the paint off the bed. Uh, it's it's a very strong coating, very strong. But this is DIY. I'm gonna maintain it. I won't ignore it, and I won't let this truck bed rust. And I'm gonna take care of this thing. And my whole thing has always been, if you can, do it yourself. This allows me to do it myself. All right, that's it. This is installed. Right now, I can put anything in this truck and not scratch the heck out of it. This will protect it from dents. The rugged liner, and look at this. You see it right here? Piece of wood goes right here, it goes all the way across. So you can create boxes or areas that block off things so cargo doesn't slide around. Put one here, put one across here. The fit is actually really good. It's custom fit. It's for specifically this truck and this truck bed. All right, so that's that. It's installed, it's done, that was easy. Again, I'm a DIYer. I like things I can do myself. Spray and liner, not so easy. This, super easy. It's done, the bed's protected in the spring. I'm gonna yank it out, wax, wash, clean, take care of it every year, and it'll be just fine. I've also got a roll-up cover that I bought for the top to keep the snow and ice out this year. So God bless you, thanks for watching. We'll see you next video, peace. Starting to snow, I gotta get this bed cover on. This is a Truxedo Truck Sport Tonneau cover. And I'm gonna install it today before the real snow comes.